Because what, what Kendrick say? If God got us, baby, you got us. We gonna be alright. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kaylin and welcome back to my corner. So for today's video, I'm actually doing my first ever get ready with me. So we're going to be doing makeup. We are going to be doing different Valentine's Day date night looks that you can do whenever you're going out with your boo. But before we get to this video, make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure that you turn on your notification bell so that you do not miss any of my videos in the future. So this is my first ever get ready with me and I ain't gonna it was a little rough trying to get the lighting together but you know we we worked it on out and we're gonna be doing a ton of different get ready with me's in the future because this is a lot of fun I really like sharing different looks with y'all I really like getting all dolled up and getting real cute with y'all but let's go ahead and jump right into the video okay so I went ahead and zoomed you guys in so you can see and I do have my head scarf on I normally go ahead and start with the brows and for brows I just use the Fenty eyebrow pencil hopefully y'all can see that I apologize for the lighting um, I'm still trying to figure everything out in my room it's a little bit weird because I gotta film my night because this window back behind me in this ring light I apologize for the light use the Fenty eyebrow pencil in the shade brow MVP and what I do normally is just follow the outline of my natural brows but yeah so tell me about y'all Valentine's Day plans we this is just gonna be a little chit chat it's gonna be a little girl talk like are y'all doing anything exciting for Valentine's Day do y'all have a boo are you gonna be chilling in the house lonely like me well I'm not gonna be lonely but <laughs> And I'm not gonna be chilling in the house. But y'all get what I'm saying? Like, what are y'all gonna be doing for Valentine's Day? I feel like Valentine's Day is really just about you spending time with your loved ones. That's what it's supposed to be for, in my opinion, or celebrating your loved ones. I know there was something going around on Twitter about, oh, y'all parents get y'all Valentine's Day gifts. Like, and my mama been buying me Valentine's Day gifts since I was freaking a kid. I get gifts every year. I get stuffed animals, and my mom knows that I love stuffed animals. So I get one every year. It's still okay to celebrate with your friends because this weekend I'm actually going to be doing Galentine's with some of my friends. We're just gonna go to dinner and get really, really cute and dress up and just celebrate each other. And how long we've been together, just because. Like, why not? And then on actual Valentine's Day, I do have plans. Let me tell y'all. Well, I ain't gonna tell y'all. But I do have plans for Valentine's Day. A so cool trick, if you have sparse eyebrows, if you want to make them a little bit more filled in, I actually draw the outline of my eyebrows with the Fenty pencil. And then I take a pomade. This is the Cabral by Benefit. And then I just fill in my eyebrows. So let's see if y'all can see that. And this is in the shade number five. So with my monsters this weekend, we're actually going to be going to dinner. Um, I don't know where we're going yet, but it's just a way to celebrate each other and celebrate our friendship and, you know, celebrate with the ones you love instead of having to be booed up. There's nothing wrong with not having a boo for Valentine's Day. Let me be the first one to tell y'all. It is okay, sis. Cause what, what Kendra say? If God got us, baby, you got us. We gonna be alright. I think that's what he say. That could be very wrong. <laughs> But yeah, it's gonna be all Gucci. All right, so once I'm done filling in my eyebrows, then I actually take a concealer to go ahead and put on my eyelids to carve out my brows. And the concealer that I'm going to be using today is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. Now I see why YouTubers be putting up their hands like this. It's so that cameras can focus. We're gonna be taking the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Dark 40. I've had this concealer for a long time. It might be inspired. Don't judge me. So then I just take it and I go ahead and I carve out my brows. I put it on my lid as well, so not just under my brow, um, just because it's a good primer for eyeshadow. That's probably too much, I'm not gonna lie. I usually don't do that much. And then I blend out my concealer with this e.l.f. blending brush. I don't have the name for it because I've had it for so freaking long, but it's just the e.l.f. blending brush. So same thing on this side, I just take it and make sure to put a little bit underneath my eyebrow and on my eyelid so that I can blend it out so that I can actually have a primer on my lid so that my eyeshadow goes on a lot smoother. Sometimes I use a real primer, like I will use the P. Louise base instead of using just this concealer but for today's look it's gonna be really simple I don't do a ton with eyeshadow sometimes I'll do pinks here 
oranges there but i'm really more of a neutral girl i'm not gonna see any super fun bold looks on this channel so that's what you're here for i'm sorry that's not what you're getting but i feel like makeup has evolved it's a little bit different now i feel like people aren't doing super bold looks anymore and once that's done then i actually go ahead and shape my brows so the fenty brow pencil i don't like so i just take a spoolie from any pencil this is just the anastasia beverly hills brow wiz and i carve out my eyebrows so that it doesn't look too harsh for eyeshadow i'm actually going to be taking this morphe palette right here excuse all the fingerprints i just had tacos but this is the morphe hey girl hey palette i actually picked this up at the morphe store in la when i went a couple of years ago for a trip so this palette actually has a ton of warm shades it has pink shades purpley shades so i felt like it was perfect for valentine's day and i feel like it's gonna be really good with my look so Y'all know Morphe shades normally don't have the names. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take this nude shade first right here as a transition in my eyelid. I'm just gonna take that and put it in my crease. And it actually, ooh, it's actually picking up as a purpley, pinky color. Can y'all see that? Probably not, because I'm doing it on the eye with the shadow. Yes, ooh, this is pretty pinky color. I like it. Okay, I like it. That's what I like. Other eye, y'all can probably see better on this eye. And I'm blending with the Morphe M433 brush. This is a very, very popular brush. A lot of the big YouTubers use it. It's the perfect blending brush for putting colors in your creases. That's what I use it for. And then once I put it in my crease, then I go ahead and take a Morphe E27. And then I just kind of blow it out. I like the look that this gives after you've added your crease shade. So I like how this gives a nice blowout effect. Just, you know, a little something, something, added. just a little color, just a little color. So after I do that, I'm going to go ahead and take this purple shade from the palette that I'm going to show you guys. This little pinky purpley shade right here, and I'm just going to put that all over my lid. Oh, this not as intense as I thought it was going to be. Morphe, I don't use this palette before. Stop playing with me. I thought I was going to put that all over my lid. Girl, well, it is not showing up. Ooh. Oh, yes, it is. Okay. I was going to say Morphe now. Shoot. Maybe I should have used my P. Louise today because this not, this not hitting. Mm -mm. Okay. It's coming out okay. I got to do a lot for it though. Anyways, y'all have to make sure y'all comment and let me know what y'all are doing and let me know if you are recreating this look because, you know, we are a family here. So we gonna celebrate Valentine's Day together, girl. So next time I film a Get Ready With Me, I'm gonna make sure that I have topics that I'm gonna ask you guys about on Instagram because I want this to be a little bit more interactive. But this was my first one. I actually plan to film a different video. So that's why we don't have any topics to talk about today. But I'm going ahead and address some pop culture things just so we can have our little girl chat moment so we can have something to talk about because, baby, it's some stuff going on in life. And we're going to talk about how y'all came for my sis Chloe. Maybe not y'all, but they came for my sis. Baby, Chloe is very unproblematic. So if you don't know Chloe and Hallie, they're these amazing, talented young ladies. They seem like they're very sweet. They're around my age group. I'm 24. I think Chloe is 23 or 22. And basically the internet came for her because if you don't know, Hallie is filming The Little Mermaid overseas in the UK and Chloe and Hallie actually split up their Instagrams. So Chloe is branching out. She's coming into her sexuality. She is a young woman. She dancing real sexy. You know what I'm saying? And people was coming for her because she was doing these busted challenges and these silhouette challenges. And first of all, y'all not finna come for my sis because my sis looks good, honey. So if she want busted or silhouetted, then she can. I don't see what the problem is y'all be busting in a silhouette all the time y'all be promoting y'all only fans all the time so why she can't just express her sexuality like everybody else does it didn't make any sense to see her on the internet crying like that for people to make her feel that way all right so the next thing i'm doing i'm actually taking this darker shade and i'm putting it in my eyelid this dark shade right here if you can see it's more of a rosy purpley color um just to add some depth to my eyes so it doesn't look one dimensional because this is a very very simple look but i like adding depth to the outer corner so that it looks a little bit more like i did a little bit more but anyway back to chloe people was coming for her because you know she was expressing herself in her dance and she was being sexy and it's okay she's an adult 
I feel like as black women, a lot of the times people think that we can't do it all. Like we can't be sweet, we can't be nice and sexy at the same time. And that is not the case. We are all of that, we're not even just black women. Women as a whole are multifaceted. We can be sexy, we can be cute, we can be the housewife, we can be the freak at night. And it's okay to be all of that. And I'm so sick of the internet tearing people down and making people feel like trash because they wanna be, explore life. That's literally what she's doing is exploring life and just trying to find herself and be comfortable with who she is. We already have self-esteem issues as it is because of the internet, because we're millennials, because we're Gen Z and we grow up on the internet, we already struggle to be confident. It's like, why can't we just let people breathe, bruh? She ain't doing nothing wrong. Y'all doing it? I'm sure the people that was coming for her doing it. I'm sure they was doing silhouette and busty challenges or their friends was. We gotta let people live, man. We gotta let people breathe. Ugh. All right, so after I'm done with that, so as y'all can see, I have a little bit of purple on my eyes. Um, I'm just going to fill in my inner corner because I wanna add a little bit of a pop. So I do have this light peaky shade up here that I'm just gonna put in my inner corner. I'm taking one of my favorite Morphe, Morphe brushes to add that inner corner highlight. I usually spray it, but I'm actually not having to spray this. It's actually pretty, okay, it looks pretty good. But this is the Morphe E36, in case you're wondering. It's the perfect inner corner highlight brush. But yeah, I use it for inner corner highlight. And it be popping. So my eyes are done. So next up, I usually put my lashes on, but I'm not gonna show that on camera because I'll be struggling with lashes and I don't think y'all wanna see this. So we just go ahead and skip forward to the tip that I do after lashes. Okay, whew, lashes are on. But y'all, I am so over strip lashes. Like next month, I'm gonna start getting my lashes done because I, I can't do this no more. But once my eyes are done, I go ahead and I prime my face. So I use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer because I have extremely dry skin. Y'all know this, I talk about this all the time in my vlogs. Um, but I just take a little bit, I don't wanna put too much because I do use a matte and a hydrating foundation so I don't wanna be super greasy. For foundations, I actually mix two foundations. I just use the Fenty Matte and the Fenty Hydrating Foundation, both in the color 350. So I take a little bit more of the matte because I do sweat um, and I don't wanna be super shiny. So I take about two pumps, two and a half pumps of the matte, I wanna say. And then I do about one and a half pumps of the hydrator. And that tends to help combat some of that sweat so that it's not too greasy, too oily, so that I don't look crazy. So once that is mixed together, I usually mix it with my finger or the end of a brush. Take it and dab it on my skin, like so. Then I just take my fluffy Morphe brush. This is the Morphe 439, and I go ahead and I blend my foundation out with that. But yeah, while we're on the subject of confidence and finding your sexuality, I do wanna go ahead and talk to you guys a little bit about my confidence journey. Um, just because we here and we doing makeup, so why not? So for me, if y'all don't know, if y'all didn't watch my last and only life update, I'm through a lot last year. If you're curious, go ahead and go watch that life update. I was just a completely different person. I was going through a lot and I feel like my confidence was not the best at the time. Um, I actually gained a lot of weight during COVID, but honestly, who didn't? If you didn't gain weight during COVID, you wasn't quarantined, right? Because the gyms was closed. Baby, I was hungry. I was eating <laughs> um, and if you don't know before quarantine, which you probably don't know because I didn't have my channel, but I had lost almost 20 pounds before quarantine. I worked really hard to lose that and I gained it all back. Why were you? I gained it all back then some. <laughs> and it really, 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 really did not help my confidence. And I think that it's important to note that your confidence journey is your own and you need to do whatever you need to do for you to make you happy, whether that's working out, eating healthy, getting a surgery. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that, but you have to work on yourself and work on loving yourself in your own right and in your own time. Nobody can teach you how to do that. Well, they can, they can try to help you through it, but essentially at the end of the day, it's up to you to start working on different ways to love yourself. And that could be writing words of affirmation, putting them on sticky notes, to put it on the mirror. That could be telling your boyfriend or your home girls, hey, remind me that I'm pretty every day. That could be surrounding yourself with different people that make you happy, that boost you. But I think one thing that you should do is start practicing, you know, positive words and telling yourself, hey, I am pretty, I am this, I am that. And keep telling yourself that because eventually you're gonna start believing it. Because if you don't believe it, 
the people around you not gonna believe it or they might but you ain't gonna listen to them so i went through that on my own and i had to learn that you are one of the only people that can help boost your confidence because at the end of the day you have to believe it you gotta believe that you are that bitch all right and at this point right now i am working i'm on my health journey y'all gonna see we're gonna be doing a couple of fitness videos we're gonna be doing what i eat today i'm gonna start incorporating that because i want to take y'all on that journey with me to help rebuild my confidence and to help rebuild myself back to where i was now i'm not as low as i was when i first started losing weight back then i was super earnest to i'm gonna take y'all along with me on a journey so we can grow together and y'all can tag me on social media and all of that and we can work through it together because health and weight loss and confidence is a journey okay it's not a race it's not something that you just gonna get over overnight it is a journey it is a process something that you have to go through Alrighty, so i'm done with my foundation and for concealer i'm using the fenty beauty concealer of course and this is in the shade 350 as well so i just take that and i put it under my eyes like so i just do like three dabs um and then i put it on my nose and on my forehead like that and my makeup routine is not nothing hard okay i'm not a beauty guru i do the best that i can for my face <laughs> but i go ahead and i blend it out with the morphe e8 brush this is one of my favorite brushes it just blends concealer like a dream or just blends anything like a dream but i like using it for concealer because it gets right underneath that under i like do y'all see that anyway like i said confidence is a journey um becoming a healthy person for me is a journey and i just want to get to a place where i'm happy well happier with myself and a lot more confident in my body and i'm gonna take the steps to do that okay that's what we gonna do and we gonna do it together girl because i know it's a lot of people that gain weight during quarantine like a lot of my friends I don't know what we had going on but we was just wilding wilding and a lot of people got depressed and all of that during quarantine so i can definitely understand where a lot of that comes from but once i'm done with my concealer i go ahead and i set my concealer i do not bake because like i said dry skin baking is not a good idea so i just set so that i can make sure that my concealer stays in place all day and i'm just going to be taking the fenty beauty setting powder it's so dirty i'm so sorry and but this is in the shade honey this is the pro filter setting powder and it is so smoothing and so good this video is not sponsored by fenty however rihanna if you see this hey girl it's a product my way i take my sonia kasha sponge my marble sponge and i just set where i put concealer at everywhere on my face i don't want to do too much because this this powder is a little deadly you do too much ain't no coming back i said i wasn't gonna do too much and i'll do this every time i say the same thing every time i use this powder don't use too much don't use too much look at me a clown i like a chalkboard what is this girl and also to get rid of this powder i just take the luxie 660 precision foundation brush i got this in an ipsy bag a long time ago back when i was subscribed to ipsy i'm not anymore so i hope it's still available because this is really really a good brush i love using it for wiping away powder it doesn't you know kick up a whole bunch of powder it also doesn't kick up a ton of my dry skin which is super ideal because some brushes can cause my skin to flake and flare up and go crazy this brush does not do that okay hold on i wish i was going somewhere for real unfortunate thing about this is i'm gonna film this put my dress on and put my clothes on and my perfume for you guys and i'm I'm not going anywhere. So once I go ahead and do my foundation, that's when I start laying on my bronzer and my contour. So next up, I go ahead and contour with the Fenty Matchstick. This is in the shade Truffle. Now this is a little bit hard to work with. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Um, I bought this when Fenty first launched before it was a ton of reviews on it, but this is actually my second one. But what I like to do because it's very, very hard to blend out okay be real i like to take some of my mario badesky facial spray um they sell this at ulsa and i believe sephora now but i just like to take a little bit spray that on there to soften it up before i put it on my skin and then i just apply it to all the places that i normally contour cheekbones under my lip chin all that good stuff i feel like nobody can help you 
Well, people can help you on your confidence journey, but I feel like at the end of the day, it is up to you to find different things that you can do to start making yourself happy and start making yourself love yourself because but people can love you all day long. Your mama can love you. Your boyfriend can love you. Your, your sister can love you. But if you don't love yourself, you're not going to be happy. But you know who do love you though? We're going to get real spiritual up here. The Lord. The Lord going to love you through it all, baby. Let me tell you, he going to love you when you're in the trenches. He going to love you. He just going to love you through whatever because God got me through some stuff this year let me tell you whoo child that's my little praise break for the day um but i'm blending out my contour with this real techniques fluffy brush i don't know the name because it is wiped off because this brush is old i've had this brush for a long time i should probably get a new one because i think you're supposed to go for your brushes but i clean them so I, I do what i can but yeah i just take it and i blend it out like i said it's pretty rough to blend out so if you ever purchase that just keep it in mind but yeah i think that people also just need to start thinking about how they treat people i feel like the world is not full of a lot of kindness anymore like people just mean people are so mean on the internet they hide behind keyboards they call people fat ugly stupid all all kinds of stuff and it's just crazy because you don't think about how that can affect people and granted it's the internet so you know people be trolling or you try to tell yourself like people be trolling that stuff not real but if you're a celebrity or an influencer or somebody that has to look at that every day that can be pretty taxing and you might start looking at stuff that you wasn't insecure about because of something that somebody said on the internet Alrighty, up next so i actually set that cream contour with my fenty bronzer as you can see i have been using this religiously and this is in the shade caramel cutie just in case y'all were wondering and to blend it out i actually take this morphe brush from the rose gold collection i do not know the name of this either this is wiped off i probably need to get some new brushes but it's just this fluffy brush from morphe um, I got it from the Rose Gold Collection, but you can probably find it at Morphe. It's a pretty good brush. I like to use it to blend out my bronzer and I like to use it to set that contour to give it a little bit more of a chiseled look. And next up, once I do, once I finish with that contour is I actually set in between the spaces where I don't have contour just to kind of carve out that line a little bit. So I'm just going to take some more of this powder that I still have on my sponge because I use a ton. Um, and I'm just going to place that in between right here. Hopefully y'all can see that. Yeah, you should be good. But I'm just gonna place that right here just to chisel out that contour just a little bit more. And next up, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little shadow on my lower lash. So I'm just gonna be taking that purpley shade that I use on my lid right here and I'm going to put it on my lower lash line just to give my eyes a little bit more of a definition. So we are gonna go ahead and add that just a little bit. And I just use a Shop Miss A Studio E132. These brushes are bomb, they are a dollar a dweller they are cheap you can find them online um there's a store here in dallas in great by mills i believe i'm not sure where there's another one but these are really really cheap brushes i got them in a brush set fire and to blend out my lower lash i just use the stop miss a e21 the e21 baby it is a fluffy brush okay we're just gonna use that to blend out that lower lash line and then i'm gonna go ahead and remove that powder Alrighty, and once that is done then i just take my l'oreal voluminous yeah this is the black carbon mascara by l'oreal i need to get some more i actually think this is tristan but i need to get some more because i'm out and i'm running out of this one but i like getting ready with y'all this is fun this is lit baby okay make sure that y'all leave me comments down below and comment on my instagram when i be asking y'all questions about what topics y'all want to talk about and to get ready with me's because to get ready with me's it's gonna get real spicy it's gonna get real not controversial but we're we, we gonna talk about some stuff Alrighty, y'all so once i'm done with my concert then i actually just take my blush and i have Fenty surprise <laughs> Um, I just have this Fenty Kilowatt Foil in the shade Ruby Riches. I hope that is not backwards because I did that in my um, vlog and I think it's backwards. But y'all know the shade is Ruby Riches. That's what it is. In case you're curious about any of these products, I'm going to make sure to leave everything linked down below so y'all can shop like me. We can have the same looks and we can be bomb, okay? We can be cute for Valentine's Day and any other holiday after that. So I just tap my rose gold blending brush into the blush blending brush into the blush again no name on this just 
rose gold collection blending brush but y'all can find a brush like this anywhere to be honest and then i just add a little bit to my cheeks and then i just take my favorite blending brush this blush is like a magic wand it'll fix everything so this is a morphe rose gold blood brush it's safe to say that if it's rose gold i don't have the names but i think they have another one like this in either the jaclyn hill collection or just the regular morphe collection but it is just this big fluffy blending brush and it is amazing y'all so i use that to blend my contour with my blush so that it can run together and not look like two separate lines we just blend it in a circular motion like so okay this look is coming together i like this eyeshadow y'all it's cute i need to start using other colors besides brown but yeah, I just feel like I don't know what this world is coming to. Well, I just feel like social media actually just brings a lot of stuff to light. It brings a lot of people's true feelings to light or it brings what kind of person they are. Because if you can get on the internet and tear somebody down that you do not know or somebody that you don't like, you can pay attention to them all day long. Then you just you just got something else going on and people just want to add to it. I just I, I ain't messing with it. OK, it's mm -mm, it ain't for me. So y'all leave these people alone. Stop tearing people down the internet. And, and that's just all I got to say about that. And if you are struggling with your confidence, don't worry. We're gonna work on it together, sis. We, we, we gonna get it together. We gonna get there and we gonna love ourselves in 2021. That's what we doing. Loving ourselves all year and then so. Okay. So for highlight, I'm going to use this Sigma tapered highlight brush and this is the F35. This is the infamous F35 that I feel like a lot of influencers talked about. That's why I purchased it. When makeup, when makeup brushes was hot and influencers was talking about it, this this was the brush. If you were OG, you already know. So what I actually do for highlight is I always spray my brush just to add a little bit of uh, oomph to it so it can add a little bit more sparkle, a little bit more shine because I love, love highlight. And for highlight, I'm going to be taking the Fenty Kilowatt Highlighter in the shade Afternoon Snack and Mo Money. And so the less shiny shade is Afternoon Snack. So I'm gonna take Afternoon Snack and I'm gonna put that on my nose and in the little, little highlight area. I don't know what that's called. But yeah, I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose right here. Just a little bit, not too much. Um, and then just a little bit on that highlight area. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit, not too much, because this is lethal. Then I have one more step after this for highlight that I like to do, just to add a little bit more juice. So once I do that, then I actually just take this Morphe 501 brush. Now this is an OG highlighting brush right here. I spread this as well. Um, and then I just dip into the more sparkly shade right here. I don't think I showed y'all. This is afternoon snack, which is not as much of a shimmery shade. And this is Mo Honey, which is a little bit more of a shimmery shade. So I just dip this brush into that and I actually add on top of the highlight that I already have and I mix it together. To those same areas, so just a, a smidge to that highlighting area. What is that, your temple? It's not just temple, I don't know cheekbones and then I add a little bit under my eyebrows and then just a little bit on my forehead just a little bit because like I said I sweat we ain't trying to be too shiny but I do want to add just a little bit of glow because if you use a matte foundation you want to add a little bit of glow back into that but then what I do is I take it and I just kind of blend it in on this highlight area on the sides of my face so that it can be pretty pretty glowy but to say that i actually take the morphe continuous setting mist this is the only setting spray that i use i use it nothing else and it has such a fine mist let me go ahead and set my face that's so refreshing look at that and actually what I do to set that in, I believe I learned this trick from Jackie Ina. I'm not 100% sure, but I actually take my sponge and help that setting spray set in. So I just do a little tap tap, just a little tap. As, as you can see, it added a lot of moisture back into my face so that my face doesn't look super dry. Um, and what I like to do sometimes, if it's a little bit too shiny for me or too moisturized like it is right now, um, I add a little bit more setting powder, just a little bit. So usually right here because that's where I tend to get super shiny. Um, and then I just wipe it off. And that's actually pretty much everything for my face. Oh, one more thing that I like to do, I do at the end after I take my scarf off, is I add some more bronzer 
to my forehead but i usually do it when i take my scarf off but i'll do it for y'all right now just because i'm not doing my hair i have braids i don't have nothing to do so i'll just add a little bit to my forehead so that i can have some bronzer up here so we can not look crazy all right y'all so this is the finished face this is what it looks like when i'm done with my face so let me talk to y'all about what i'm gonna use for lips i'm thinking i don't know if i want to go with the more pinky lip or more brown um but i use pretty much the same lip liner no matter what um it is a brown lip liner but it is just the ColourPop lip liner in the shade bff3 this is from the makeup shayla collection but ColourPop actually has a um just a bff3 liner so i just go ahead and i take my liner and i line in my lips to make them look a little bit bigger. So I have a Kylie lip liner from our Valentine's Day collection from last year. And then I just have my normal NYX soft matte. I think I'm gonna use, you know, I'm mixing. Epic, let's do that. So I'm just gonna take the NYX soft matte in the shade Abu Dhabi and I'm gonna put it on my lips. I only put this on the bottom of my lips. It blends a lot better and then I Pat my lips together. So I'm gonna add a little bit of the Kylie Matte Lipstick on top and this is in the shade Built to Last. This is from, like I said, her Valentine's Day collection last year. So it was limited edition. So I'm just gonna add a little bit so I can have a little bit more pink cause this is a date night Valentine's Day look. So we just gonna add a little bit more pink here. This is a lot more pink than I expected. But that's okay because that's what lip gloss is for. So on top, I'm going to be taking the Kylie Gloss. This is one of my favorite glosses and I hate that it was limited edition and only for the Valentine's Day collection, but this is in the shade Story of Us. So cute. This is a very pink shimmery shade. So if you do not like pinks, then I would not recommend this shade at all. Okay, she is giving. Okay, she's giving Valentine's Day. She is giving, I'm finna go meet my mans. She is giving, um, we are going to a steakhouse. We are going to Ocean Prime. We got money and we are festive. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over and show you guys what I will be wearing to a day night so that you can get some ideas. If you are stepping out for Valentine's Day, this is a look that you can recreate and I'm gonna show you guys what the outfit's gonna be looking like. Here is the first look. So I actually have this red dress that I got from OOTD Fash. You can find this, I feel like I've seen this everywhere, Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, all of that, but it's just this red maxi dress and then I just have on these clear mules that I got from shoe deal and for jewelry i have my little baguette earrings that i got from fashion nova then i still have on my gold ring that i got from target and a bag that i will pair with this would just be this little clear bag it actually has red detailing on it so it matches perfectly and it has this little scarf that you can tie around i got this from shoe deal but i know they have it available at shein as well so if you are looking to get into the spirit and you want to wear like red or pink i think this would be perfect Perfect. For my next fit, I will probably do, if I wanted to do an all black look, I would just do this black mini dress that I have from Make It Wardrobe that y'all have seen in a couple of my hauls. And I have it paired with these strappy heels that I got from Shoe Deal. Um, I believe I've seen these on Ego Official as well. So if you're interested in them, make sure to check that out. And then for jewelry, I switched it over because the shoes have silver hardware. So I just have my silver earrings from the beauty supply. And then these rings are from Target for sure. I will probably pair it with my Prada wristlet just because this has silver hardware. And this is the only black bag that I have with silver hardware. I actually will probably pair it with something a little bit dressier, but I'm very matchy matchy when it comes to hardware. So this silver hardware matches the silver hardware on the shoes and the silver jewelry. So for a fragrance, I will probably use my YSL Libre just because this is a little bit more nighttime for me and it's more of a fall and winter scent so i think that it will fit perfectly of course i have a dupe for you guys from dossier it is floral lavender and it smells pretty similar um this is actually a lot stronger than the ysl libre but if you're looking for a very similar if not the same scent then definitely check out dossier i'm gonna make sure to leave my link in my code down below so that you guys can save some money off all right you guys so this is the final look and i hope that you guys enjoyed this little chit chat get ready with me um please make sure to leave me comments down below on what your favorite looks were and what kind of looks you want to see from me in the future and i hope you guys have an incredible week and an incredible valentine's day i love you guys so much and i will catch you in my next one bye Let me catch your